So hello everyone, this is Kirsten from Kenwin University and I'm here with Robot in 3 Days and we're going to go over some of the basic rules of the game for this year. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for first students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu first. So start off, let's go over some of the basic robot rules, especially uh, pertaining to the construction. So the frame perimeter of the chassis is 120 inches, pretty standard, it's the same as last year. Uh, and the weight is at 125 pounds, again, it's the same as last year. And then we get to the extensions part of the whole construction. So your height of your robot cannot extend above 6 feet 6 inches, and your starting config must be within 4 feet 6 inches. So you can have some pretty significantly tall robots this year. As well as uh, horizontal uh, extensions, it cannot extend beyond four feet of your frame perimeter, and obviously everything must be inside your frame perimeter before you start a match. Uh, and it's also uh, worthy to note that you cannot extend uh, items of your robot in more than one cardinal direction, so you cannot have two separate flanges on either side of your robot. It has to be going in one direction. And then that's pretty much all, all the significant changes for the uh, robot rules. So moving on to game rules. There are some pretty uh, significant ones. First off, you cannot touch your opponent's robot while it, they are in their own community. So if you're on the Red Alliance, you cannot touch a Blue Alliance robot when it is in the Blue Alliance community area. It does not matter who initiates the contact, so please be careful because if, the, if you're in there and the other robot rams you, well then, you're out of luck. Um, Another thing to note is that each robot can only control one game piece at a time, so you cannot have multiple cubes or cones within your frame perimeter or around it at any point. And finally, uh, when you are in a, an opponent's community or a loading zone, you cannot have a, an extension beyond your frame perimeter or I believe the height one as well. And uh, finally, just one last thing to note for the beginning. Uh, note that the, ch the uh, charging station is also included inside the community areas. So during endgame, you cannot impede any of the uh, balancing acts that will be going on. So this is pretty much a summary of our rules, and please make sure to check out the rest of the videos we are making this weekend. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for first students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in Three Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.